Welcome back, Attack. I'm Skyline Shore, and this is going to be my first impression on the Magicka Wizard Wars new game mode, Soul Harvest. And I have to say, I'm having a lot of fun with it. If you haven't played Magicka, essentially, you have eight buttons, and you can combine these eight elements, or buttons, and uh, you have three ways you can do it. You know, you can press Q, W, E, or Q, E, Q, or R, E, R, E, you get, you get it? Okay, okay, anyways, you probably don't get it. I, I still don't even get it after playing it for all these hours. Essentially, like, there's so many different combinations, and it has a huge skill cap, okay? So if you're a new player, it is extremely frustrating. If you can get past that, though, it's a really fun game, really deep mechanics, and it's just a great versus experience. Of course, also, it's a great PvE experience. That's why people like Magicka, but this is a PvP game, and so that's actually why we kind of see not many players playing the game it's a little bit tragic even if you're trying to do or find duel you're not gonna get many matches because it's just so hard and new players are so frustrated the player base just isn't really that big it's uh, definitely got a learning curve. Uh, it's very steep, very steep. Now you have normal, dual, then you have also practice mode. Then you have a conquesty kind of mode where you gotta capture points and then you have like lives and stuff like that. That is uh, really challenging. I think new players probably really won't like that. But I think this new game mode, I think it's a little bit more I don't know, it's a little bit more interesting probably for casual players because uh, there's a PvE element. So even if you can't directly fight other players because you just simply aren't skilled enough, there is a PvE element. But let me tell you this, for those who are veterans of the game or who at least are comfortable with it like I am, you're going to have fun with the PvE because it's actually really smart. These monsters will kite you. They actually have different move sets. They also have weaknesses and bonuses to certain elements and abilities. They can, they're really aggressive. They're really fast. They're not slow moving. They're not dumb. It just seems overall that for a game that has a jungle, you know, it's got really good AI. And this is something that I'm not used to. AI is normally really dumb. A uh, Dota 2, extremely simplified AI. League of Legends, also very simplified AI. And they don't have the roaming capabilities. In this game, these monsters will literally chase you into like whole other sectors of the map. Which you can utilize, you know, I think there's a little bit of skill cap there. You could probably round up some minions, dispatch of them, however you feel. You might be able to do that, of course, risking getting killed. Uh, and then also risking getting ganked, because remember, this is a PvP game, so there are players. Uh, so it's a little bit uh, frustrating, I guess, as a new player as well in this game mode. But uh, I guess you can take it at your own pace, because you're not directly in the face of other players consistently and constantly. So you do have a PvE element. Now what I like is that you have base mobs, you have sort of like these simpler, uh, little kobold looking mobs, and then you have elite status mobs. And then there's a couple of different kind of elite status mobs. One shoots a chaos, like, AoE explosion at you. Another one runs at you with a fiery sword. And of course, you gotta learn the different elemental weaknesses and bonuses to these creatures so that you can dispatch them and also learn how to kite them. The one that shoots magic, you need to actually circle around him. And the, fl the guy with the flaming sword, you need to totally book it or just face tank him. You can do that. You need to have strategies for these different PvE monsters. It depends on what you gotta do because these monsters are extremely mobile. And that's not something that we're used to in the jungles of MOBA. So I think that's just really something cool and I hope other MOBAs kind of take from that and I hope this game mode does take off. Now one thing that I found really fun was that you can kill monsters or your enemies can kill monsters and they drop souls but the souls can be picked up by anybody so it's not whoever just gets the last hit it's whoever's left standing after the last hit you know what I'm saying so you then if the enemy kills the main boss the, the big baron-ish monster there's a big giant elite boss it's giant it's huge yeah can't miss it anyways if they kill that but then you kill the enemy team then you can go and reap the rewards you literally reap the souls and then you can go and take out their base now talking about the base the, uh, it's really strong it's really really strong it's got a huge amount of health even in games where the entire enemy quit and i was just wailing at the statue it took forever now your whole team it probably would go a little bit faster if everyone is shooting chaos at it it would probably go to take down a little bit faster while one person is tanking but what i really like is that its ai is also very smart it'll shoot other people it won't just sit there and shoot the person who's closest or whoever it was targeting first it'll literally go and kill somebody if they're low health beside it and it also has a huge range it's got a bigger range than mages so i think overall this is really Really fun. I think its health is a little bit high, uh, but maybe, I don't know, maybe that's for competitiveness. Maybe really good players will be able to, I guess, work together to kill it really fast. But if you're new players, which consistently I've been playing with new players in this match, in this game mode, the matches take so long, not only just to harvest the souls and then just, uh, just kind of to get to a point where you're comfortable with your team and you're coordinating correctly. Just like it takes so long to get to an aggressive state where you're actually like aggressing on their statue that by then people, uh, it's pretty much given who's going to win or not. One team has like an insurmountable amount of souls and the other team is just pushed back completely. By that time, they just quit. You know, they're like, okay, well, they're obviously better. We'll just quit. And that's been every, every single game that I've played has been people just quitting once they realize that they've lost. 
And I think it's a little bit tragic. And it's because the statues have such high health that, like, by the time that we start dismantling the statue, well, it's basically over because it's whoever harvests the most souls. Now, maybe it's a little bit different whenever you get really good players together, but I, um... I don't know, I just as a new player, you know, since this is a big gripe with this game is that it's not very new player friendly, I feel like this game mode, it's more fun, but it's not any easier. If you're not good at the magic of mechanics, then you're not going to be good at this game type either. Now, something that I would like to see would be a game type that would be, I guess, a little bit more comfortable for people who aren't used to all the combos and everything. Now, I do like the update where if you die, it'll show, like, what abilities you could have used to save yourself. Like, it'll be like, okay, press Q, W, E in order to get rid of flames while healing or something like that. Like, I really enjoy that they are adding more tutorial tips and everything, but I feel like there probably should be an extra game mode, maybe like a co-op game mode now i know i know that's a little bit of a, a stretch because it is a free to play it's based on pvp and it's based on magicka which is already a co-op game but i would like to see i guess more pve oriented uh, content because well the ai is really good if not if not uh co-op mode then i would really like challenge modes the moba dragons and titans actually has a story slash challenge mode and i really like that i think that would be a really nice addition but this game mode is really a good first step. It's probably got, well, maybe not the most strategic jungle, but it has the most mechanical jungle of any MOBA I've ever played. So, uh, Soul Harvest is actually a really fun game mode. It's really long, though. I mean, for a brawler MOBA, it lasts a long time. It gets a little bit stale, gets a little bit old whenever you're doing the same thing, farming the same creeps over and yeah, you know? So, not as strategic as other MOBA. It's not as brawly as other MOBA either when it's supposed to be a brawling MOBA. Uh, but overall, it's interesting, and I like it. So, what do you guys think of Magicka Wizard Wars in uh, general? And what do you guys think about this new update? Let me know in the comments below. And please come back, attack, like, subscribe, so that you can stay notified. And, uh, yeah, we will see you again later. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave this video a like. Subscribe. You can find us on Twitter. Stop. Underscore Mark McDonald. And WC no Bot. No one wants to hear that shit. No, they don't want to hear it. That's the first time they've made all the things they do. No one wants to hear it. Everyone's like, oh, that was a really cool video. And then at the end, they're like, don't forget to subscribe. And everyone's like, oh, come on. I tweet essentially to an open, empty room.